person I heard play was Arthur Smith, who uh, wrote and recorded a song called Guitar Boogie. Okay. And because my brother and I started playing at the same time, my mother gave me a guitar for my fourth birthday. Wow. So she taught me how to play chords. Um, and uh, so my brother and I took up playing. But then when I was about seven, I heard Chet Atkins on the radio. And it was one of those moments where I didn't know what he was doing, but I knew that that's the sound I had to make. Whatever that was, <laughs> that's what I had to do, you know. And it was just one of those life-changing moments. And uh, even at a young age, I knew that, that that's what I wanted to do. And you ended up recording with him. Yeah, I, I'm a person who I, I lived my, my dream, my childhood dream was to meet him and to work with him. And, um, so, and that happened. But uh, I, I wrote him a fan letter when I was 11, <gasps> and he wrote back. Wow. And he was, he was uh, uh, a and director and the president of RCA Records, based in Nashville at that time. He must have been one of the busiest people on and the planet. And he wrote me back. <laughs> and he wrote me back, sent me a photograph saying... Do you still have a, that letter or anything like oh, that? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Of course. Yeah. yeah. That is so and, cool. um, but we remained kind of pen pals, you know, long distance and, <laughs> uh, and everything. And, uh, and in 1980, I made the pilgrimage. I came to Nashville. And uh, I saved all my life to make that trip. What was that like? I mean, was that culture shock for you when you it got was, there? It was wonderful. The, the funniest part for me was hearing everybody speak because they sounded like people in the movies. <laughs> you know what I mean? I went down to, to get some breakfast and the girl behind the, the desk went, Two eggs, bacon, and a biscuit. And I was like, is she acting or is this real? You know? but of course, it's, just, the camera. it's just the southern accent. You uh -huh. know? It's different to your accent. Your accent is uh, yeah, it's much more cultured. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 you right. know, though, you've, been, you've toured it everywhere. Well, I've, I've, everywhere. Been a, I've been a lucky man. I, I get to uh, make a living doing what I love. And uh, when I play music, something good happens to you I don't know what it is but something good happens to you so that's why I do it so what you're saying is something good's gonna happen to us this morning you're down tootin you're performing at the Hochstein uh, school uh, yeah, uh, let me back hall. in there today we'll see yeah, yeah. It's a great venue. It yeah. is a nice venue. It's kind of, sort of in the round, isn't mm -hmm. it? It's, yes. it's, it's yeah. got a nice feeling. Perfect. I like being yeah. close to the audience. Yeah. You, know? you have some magazines and some people calling you the best guitarist around. Oh, that's all the money I send out to people. <laughs> <laughs> all the checks I send out. I don't know if that's true. It's it's not. No, uh, it's a work in progress, like like everything. You know, you get up in the morning and you play the guitar. You get to work on it. You know, like anything else. If you, yeah. want to, if you want to be good at something, then you better get to work at it. There isn't any shortcuts. Well, we're going to put you to work. Wow. All right. In just a few minutes. All right. Right. I'm already in love. I cannot wait to hear him. Tommy Emanuel in our studio coming up in just a bit. Yes. Don't go anywhere. Uh, yeah, don't. But you said something good's going to happen to us. I can't wait. <laughs> Here's what's coming up tonight on Fox Rochester.